Hello everybody. I am at work and uh, decided to just uh, kind of showcase a little bit of a thing I discovered about the V90 uh, PlayStation emulator uh, for the last, I don't know how, how long now. I'm trying to, uh, you know, showcase some of the games that I can get to go uh, working well. And uh, we're going to go. I'm going to try to demonstrate. Hold on, I'm going to turn this mic down a little bit. Yeah, I'm sort of a. Well, when I work, uh, I need to listen to the radio all the time. Um, I'm going to showcase, like, Tekken right now to show you what happens when I do this one setting and change uh, how, how its speed changes once I change the setting. So this is going to be like a demonstration to show that it, don't give up on the V90. Everybody, sadly, the internet is like so hyperbolic about this thing. I just kind of jump to the conclusion that it sucks for PS1, but I found a setting um, through some wonderful Reddit uh, post. I talked about this emulator and uh, how it works and what setting speeds it up. And, uh, you know, something something can be done to fix the games to make them run a lot faster. Uh, so we're just going to go right into it. Okay, so typically when you play this thing, uh, typically it's very choppy. I love playing as the Capoeira guy, Eddie. I'm trying to get him down. Typically when you play this, it's very choppy. And like, I, I read online, oh, it's so bad. But, see how choppy it is? It's like, it's like crap right now. Oh my God, it's so slow, right? You, this is like unplayable. Ooh, choppy. Ooh, uh, you can tell the game wants to play it well. But it's like not going to bother. Okay, so with that being what it is, it's really choppy. It's not fun to play in that state. This is the option you use to get it to kind of speed up more. A lot more, I should say. Right here, disable lighting. This basically, and if you use it on a lot of different games, maybe along with another uh, speed hack, but this is the main thing that will give you a huge boost. You lose the lighting a bit, um, that the emulator is doing, but the game doesn't look that different to me, and it just plays a crap ton better. Now it's, a, now it's just super fast. It's, it's, it's like... Right now, the auto frame skip is the only thing kind of kind of causing these like little uh, dips in the frame rate. It's like I don't know I don't know how that that thing's calibrated, but it'll just cause it to be choppy. So just put it on frame skip one. That's what I put it on, and uh, you will get pretty damn smooth gameplay. Hold on. Oh shit! All right, never mind. Let me go back in. All right. I didn't mean to do that. I'll just show you now that that uh, before this dang thing stops recording, that uh, yeah, it, it, it's not. It's pretty much playing like if you were to play it normally on a on a, on a anything, uh, PlayStation itself maybe. Now it's normal. I mean, people people online were like really taking it to this game like it, it, it couldn't be done. And this works for you will get normal speed gameplay out of not just uh, not just this game but a lot of these like uh, I didn't expect to do that I did that with one hand damn um, you will get pretty normal gameplay out of not just uh, this game but um, you know a lot of these uh, 3d fighter games on the PlayStation 1 you just gotta change that one setting. I haven't even messed with the clock speed. There's a couple of other things that'll speed it up too. I haven't messed with those, but it's already playing really smoothly just from changing it to having lighting to turn the lighting off. 
and looks practically the same to me. Only thing that like one of the characters has like a lightsaber or something. And if you turn the lighting off, it completely changes the way that thing looks. Uh, but it's not a deal breaker, it's no big deal. And that's the key. I just wanted to display that while I'm at work and kind of just chilling, waiting for uh, something to go wrong here. Because I'm a, I'm a jam guy, I get the jam whenever the alarm goes off. So that's what I do. Uh, hope that helps somebody out there. Just disable the lighting in the the um the game this works on a lot of games sometimes you disable the lighting like for instance nicktoon racing you disable the lighting on that unfortunately a lot of, unfortunately a, a lot of the things in the game depend on the lighting so it really looks really bad but it's still playable and it of course gets the boost in speed so you just have to figure out which games can uh you can disable the lighting on and it'll, it'll get the speed boost and it'll look exactly the same almost. So there you go.